Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Daryl here. Hope you guys are having a great day today. In this video, we're checking out the Nut Buster. <laughs> So as you guys know, I love to feature interesting and unique products on the channel, things that maybe most people don't know about. So today we're looking at the Nut Buster. We're gonna look at it in close detail. We're gonna install it on a guitar and we're gonna see if it does what it claims to do. Well, let's zoom in and take a closer look. We wanna know what this thing is and what it does. Now, as you guys are looking through these pictures, you might be thinking, Daryl, this looks like some sort of interesting locking nut. And if you're thinking along those lines, you'd be absolutely correct, with one major exception. This doesn't permanently modify your guitar. There's no removal of wood. There's no contact with the wood even. This thing floats on your strings. And we're gonna talk about why it works and how it works in a second, but that's the overall design. So basically you put your strings through there and you've got you know the traditional you know allen key lockers to lock all your strings on and then of course on the top you've got those fine tuners so once the strings are locked together you can still fine tune the guitar now the whole point of the nut buster like any other locking nut is to improve tuning stability so if you've got a guitar that is just a constant problem you've replaced the nut you've got a professional setup whatever you're doing uh, and it will not hold tune this might be a good option. The second thing is, and in my case, we're gonna be using it this way, you've got a guitar with a trim. In my case, it's a Strat. And we want to improve the tuning stability. We wanna be you know, using that trim on and off, constantly bending up, bending down, because it's a full floating system. Um, and we want to improve the tuning stability for that. So I can you know, play multiple songs without having to you know, worry about tuning. So we're gonna test it out. We're gonna install it on my Strat and see what we can do. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm going to be installing the Nut Buster onto my Strat. This is a Sienna Sunburst American Professional Strat. I've got the bridge in a full floating configuration, which means I can bend up to raise the pitch with the bar, all the way down to dive bomb and, you know, use all the flutters and tricks and stuff like that. So that's the way I like to set my Strats up. Now, the downside is, you know, tuning stability can suffer a little bit. So that's where the Nut Buster is supposed to improve it. So we're gonna do some baseline tests of me just kind of bombing down, raising, checking the tune. Then we're gonna install the Nut Buster, do the same thing and see if we can improve it. All right, you guys, as you can see, we're keyed in on the bridge. Now, the Nut Buster is not installed. I just wanna see how well my Strat's gonna, you know, hold tune so that we can have a baseline. So we're in tune. <laughs> Now what I'm going to do is use the bar and I'm going to go 15 times as far as I can go down. We're going to take the bar and put it right down to the pick guard. So here we go. 15 times. One, two. Okay, 15 times. Let's check our tuning. Still rock solid. Let's do a bend up. So we're going to go 15 times, taking the bridge and putting it up as many times as we can. Here we go. One two okay we got 15 times let's check it out that definitely put it out of tune Ooh, that a this is an a chord here so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do both i'm going to go down as far as i can and then up as far as i can 15 times here we go Okay, so let's see what that did. <laughs> I'm kind of scared to play here. So, you know, overall, not like horrible. And I'm thankful for that because, you know, I do want to keep my guitars in good condition and, you know, playing well. But now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same test. We're going to install the Nut Buster and see if it improves it. All right, you guys, let's install the Nut Buster, see if we can improve upon our tuning. Now, the first thing to do is obviously to take your Allen key, loosen off the lockers and take your fine tuners and raise them so that, you know, the strings have a path through. Then I'm just gonna take my six string. I'm using the exact same strings I did in my previous test. We're gonna try to keep it as, you know, as legit as we can. So we've got our six string through the Nut Buster here. I'm gonna slip it into the tuner. And once we have one, kind of locked in place, just like that. I'm gonna lock, lock it in here. 
Okay, so there we go. The six strings kind of going to hold it in place. And then once we have all our strings through here, then we're just going to actually put it right here and it's just going to float on the strings. It's not going to contact the tuning machine or the neck or anything like that. It's literally going to float on your strings and lock them all together. Well, okay, we've got the nut buster installed. Very painless process. Since I'm using the same strings, I left my string ends extra long so that I, you know, could thread through really easy. Now that it's on, I could trim them up. But anyway, right now it is kind of free floating. You can kind of place it wherever you want on the strings. Now, according to the instructions, uh, you want it parallel to the nut but not touching the fingerboard, which it is right now. So we want to keep it as close as possible. So we're just going to seriously like move it back a millimeter or two and then kind of verify that it's, you know, parallel to the nut. Then once it's there, you check your tuning, you grab your key and you lock down all the strings. And then after that, you can use the fine tuners if you need to, you know, tune up so you don't have to, you know, lock and unlock all the time. So I'm just going to put that back on the magnet. There we go and we're ready to rock. So in theory, what happens when you use, you know, your trem bar bending up or down, you know, the strings will get, you know, kind of hung up on the nut, even if the nut is really nice, like this is a bone nut. So when I did my torture test and stuff, you know, it wasn't horrible, but if you were using like, you know, maybe a plastic nut or something like that, it might be really bad. So basically like one of your strings, usually it'll be like third string or second string will go really out of tune. Now, what the nut buster does is it locks all your strings together. So as you use your bar, if one of the strings hangs up, it uses the tension on all the other strings to equalize it. Okay, so that's the whole concept behind this. When you lock all your strings together, um, it just helps stabilize, you know, one or two strings that might be wanting to go out of tune. So that's the theory behind it. Let's test my tuning, lock it up and do a torture test. All right, you guys, I've got the nut buster installed, locked down the strings, and then I used the fine tuners to make sure I was in tune. And let's do the same torture test. So 15 times down on the bar, 15 times up on the bar, and then 15 times all the way down, all the way up. Let's start the test. Okay, here we go. 15 times down. And let's check our tuning. Okay, now where the strat really failed was on the 15 times up. Let's do that. Okay, so let's check out our tuning. That is night and day. Let's do a few more here. That's insane. After I did that without the nut buster, I was so out of tune. So now let's go down and then all the way up, sorry, I'll show you. So we'll go all the way down, all the way up 15 times. One. Okay. Man, that D chord was so out of tune before. This is A, this was the chord totally cringeworthy. That is a crazy difference, you guys. I was honestly not expecting that at all. This thing really, really works. Okay, I still haven't tuned it up after I did the torture test. Now we're just gonna do some, yeah, just some little melodic lines, use the bar a bunch, and see if it can still hold tune, you know, just playing some single notes. <laughs> Now let's use the bar to do some bends. Just a different feel from using your fingers, right? Use the bar.
you know, using that second string. <laughs> that third string and second string would have been so out of tune by now. The fact that after that torture test, I can still noodle around and not, you know, feel like I'm totally out of tune, pretty impressive. So there's that D chord that should be way out of tune by now. Well, I gotta say I'm genuinely surprised how much of a difference this thing made. I mean, I went to their website, watched some videos of guys like shredding your face off, using the bar, and then having it come back into tune. But there's no really before and after. And that's what I wanted to find out today. You know, how much better could this thing make my Strat? And, you know, admittedly, this is an awesome guitar. This is Fender's flagship guitar, right? And if you use your bar, if you have a guitar that's always going out of tune, this might be the perfect solution. So I'll drop a link in the video description below. You can check out more information there. Other than that, if you want, you can check out the t-shirt store, tab store. That's also in the video description. Other than that, have yourself a great day.